And all morning long, we've been following this absolutely wild scene that played overnight in southwest Philadelphia of runaway SEPTA trolley smashing right into a historic home. The woman in that house just barely escaping with her life. Happened at Island and Woodland Avenues near the Elmwood Depot. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey is there live with video you won't see anywhere else. What an amazing story, Wakisha. Jam, it really is. It's just remarkable that not many people are out at this time, and you would have expected a lot more people to be hurt. Now, we were told that three people were injured, and since then, they have removed this trolley from this historic home. Now, we're going to just step out of the way so you can see the extent of this damage. As you can see, large chunks of concrete and debris just scattered all over the road. Now, Elle and I was recently out here, and they did place this orange sticker on the building, marking it inhabitable. And of course, the caretaker, who is also the resident that lives at this home, she says that she lost everything in just a matter of minutes. Now we're going to get right to that exclusive dash cam video just moments before the crash happened. <laughs> And as you can see, a trolley goes off tracks, just barely misses one car before sideswiping a minivan and ultimately crashing into this historic landmark dating back to 1766. Now, the crash happened at Island Avenue and Cobbs Creek Parkway around 10.30 last night. SEPTA says there was a mechanic on the trolley at the time of the crash who was later taken to Presbyterian Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. There were no passengers on board. And inside the white SUV, there were two occupants who were also injured. But miraculously, the caretaker who lives in the building says that she walked down her stairs just to find a trolley planted in the middle of her living room. Meanwhile, we spoke with witnesses describing the scene as something out of a movie. As I was coming across the intersection, I seen a trolley in front of me coming backwards. So I pulled into the gas station here. The, the trolley went completely by me and crashed into that house. I'm really glad my son was at his dad's house tonight and not here. I would have been there painting, and luckily I was just not up to it tonight. Once we recover, we will we'll assess damage and take whatever steps we need to do to make repairs. And once again, let's take a look at this exclusive video from Max Towing Company showing the trolley crashing into an SUV, then plummeting into this historic landmark, which was also someone's home. And back out here live, you're looking at a home that is truly a piece of history. We checked several historic websites, and this building dates back to 1766. Then it was a tavern where George Washington and his men used to frequently visit. Meanwhile, SEPTA has been on scene all morning investigating what led to this crash. So as we know more details, we'll be sure to pass them along to you, Jim, Jan. Just incredible video there, Wakisha. Stunning and glad that uh, nobody was seriously injured there. Thank you so much for that.